we go on senior day. And she puts some early pressure on this Washington team, but it's Amani Bush chopping the top of the block for the Huskies. Now Hannah sent back. Amani Bush and Elise Haney on the double block for the Huskies. Coach Katie Schumacher calling. A lot of times in media has said how Penn State struggles to start off strong. They usually waver a little bit in the first set, but they're trying to make it essential that they come out and they come out proving it. Washington team trying to get physical up front against a powerful Mitney Lion attack. They'll give Hannah a second swing. And out of the left side, and Penn State says, all right, anything you can do, I can do better. Maddie Ensley tried to swing for the left side, but Taylor Trammell there to lead the way and say no. So a couple double blocks on either side as you get a replay of that on Big Ten Plus. Izzy Stark over there to seal the pin as well. And she'll do the honors at 1-1. Set to the middle quickly, played up by Merzik off the swing from Julia Hunt. This is Hannah trying to go down the line, did not get a touch. Missed it out of bounds, did Cameron Hannah. Washington back up. It's those hits just on the line that are a little bit cautious for Penn State. They've been trying to go for more for the back lines, and sometimes it can really pay off or it can just hit out of bounds. We've talked about Cameron Hanna's success, particularly as of late for this Nittany Lion team. She had a big match against Purdue on Thursday night. Ten straight with double-digit kills. Quick attack from the middle. Taylor Trammell played up by the Huskies. Off the top of the block and getting a touch. It's Maddie Ensley, the outside hitter for Washington, and she's had an early impact here. Got blocked on her first swing, but was not going to be denied on swing number two. Alexis Howry serving for the Huskies. Caroline Juravicious checking in. She'll take a swing from the left side pin, usually plays the right side for this Penn State team. But in the left in this rotation, Taylor Trammell right off of Alexis Howry out of the middle. And that connection between Stark and Trammell, if you've watched Penn State Volleyball all season long, you've seen it, you've heard us talk about it. It has really improved, and Trammell has become an offensive weapon for this Penn State team. She certainly has, and Alexis Howery just couldn't do anything at that one. It was just straight at her, and it's tough balls like that that players even have to see a little bit earlier on the serve or just back up a little bit, but Penn State does give the serve back to Washington. Mentioned that connection between Stark and Trammell as you saw Cameron Hanna serve it into the net. She's hitting 453 this season. And a lot more swings as well. And there's Jess Merzik from the left side. All the seniors get involved here early on at the hitter positions. Trammell's got a kill. Cam Hanna's had some swings, hasn't found the hardwood yet, but Jess Merzik there. Pretty cross court strike from her. Now it's Grimes into the net. A couple early miss serves here for this Penn State team. We've mentioned that's been a strength for them as of late, but Hannah sent one into the net a couple points ago, and Grimes, who leads this team in service aces. Back, well, not back to back, but two service errors in the first few points here for Penn State. There's Merzik through the block, kept alive somehow by Wilmus in the back row. Washington got it over. Now the back set, and Chera Vicious got it down inside the end line for Penn State. Penn State starting to come back now. Like I said, they usually lose a couple of points early on, but they can come back once they start to learn how Washington plays, use their volleyball IQ. Caroline Jerovicious, the shoot. Freshman gets on the board. Angelina Stark, the serve. Now swing from the right side. It's Kuhn Fletcher. And Kuhn Fletcher able to get the kill on her first swing of the afternoon. Transfer out of South Carolina, led that Gamecock team in kills last season. Senior player for the Huskies. Washington up early here, six to four from Recall. Stark gonna dump it down, good read. Izzy Stark from the middle, loves to attack from that center position, Hallie, and doesn't really matter how you do it, she finds the hardwood. Absolutely. All season long, Penn State's strength has been that middle, just lifting it over a little bit at a time. It can trip up a play, especially when they need to come back a few points. Whether it's those dumps or some of those quick attacks, this is a service ace from Chess Merzik. There is the serving game coming to life for Penn State. We're not up at half a dozen, and Merzik 
Her serves have gotten a lot more aggressive as of late for this Nittany Lion team, and that's been a key. Along with Menger, along with Grimes, along with the good servers on this Penn State team. One ace followed by one error, but it's kind of a, a, a trend that we noticed, and I think really last weekend, saw it against Illinois, saw it against Maryland, saw it against Purdue. This is a Penn State team that is just simply serving tougher than they served earlier in the season. It really is, and those seniors just have such powerful hits behind them. I mean, whether it's a serve or they're just sending it across the net, they have such power, which can be really difficult for an opposing team to come back. Kirsten Barton sending that serve long. Haven't talked much about her yet. She's this team leader in kills. Missed five matches due to an ankle injury. Got back in the lineup Friday against Ohio State. Back in the starting lineup today against Penn State. But misses that serve out of bounds. And now here's the south ball server, Gwyn Menger. Back to the left side, pin, and once again, it's Ensley. Maddie Ensley. Now with two kills on three swings, they've been setting her early and often. For Washington, got it through the block of Trammell and Stark. Barrow Lauren Bays, a senior on this Washington team. Set the serve for the Huskies. Short serve played by Merzik. Stark collects it at the net, but that play was really out of sorts from the start. Give credit to Bays, kind of that short serve. Caught Merzik a little bit off guard. Stark tried to retrieve it at the net, but just couldn't really get it with one hand over to a spot where Hannah could attack to it. See if the approach is different here. It's short once again, played by Grimes. Much more in system that time for Penn State, and Hannah gets the kill off the block. Penn State is starting to figure out Washington a little bit. They're struggling with those shorter serves that Washington is starting to come at, but they're able to get their serve back, and they were once tied at 7-7. So Hannah, three hitting errors on her first four swings, but gets a kill there. Trying to get on track here early in set one. This is Amani Bush off the top of the block for the Huskies. And Amani Bush, the junior, has led this Washington team in kills each of the last five matches. A lot of that in the absence of Kirsten Barton, but she's been a player that has really stepped up for this Husky team throughout the course of this 2024 season as they've made the move to the Big Ten. Howry to serve it away. Received by Grimes in the right back spot. Hannah hitting from the opposite pin. Look out below, Cameron Hannah with a missile down the right side. Cameron Hannah showing off her power this time. She's coming in with 10 straight matches with double digit kills. So Hannah, after having a couple swings not go her way early on, starting to find her rhythm here. One kill from the left side pin, one from the right side is Ava Faldudo. One of the good freshmen on this Penn State team sends that one long and out of bounds. And Washington has kind of kept the advantage here steady, about one or two points throughout most of this set. And it's been something we've talked about throughout the season. Penn State has had a bit of a tendency to start slow, get better as the match goes on. Washington feels like they got to capitalize on this opening set, and that's going to help. Merzik misses that cross-court swing out of bounds, and all of a sudden the Huskies are up three. Penn State has had quite a few balls out of bounds, and that's something that Coach Katie schumacher Kahali talked about in media this week. She said that their goal was to try to eliminate all those errors and focus on their serving game specifically, but Penn State has been struggling with that so far. Jura Vicious right side through the block. Kept up, though. Nice job by Bays to keep it alive. Now here's Trammell out of the middle and sent back. Julia Hunt, the freshman, wins the fight with Taylor Trammell in the middle. And Washington's physicality and net game has come to play early on here from Rec Calls. You got a replay of that solo stuff from the Covington, Kentucky native. That's Kentucky native on Kentucky native. Trammell out of Lexington, Hunt out of Covington. Hunt wins that one. Now back again, sent was Trammell. Hunt right there. Penn State keeps this one off the floor. Nice dig. In the back row, and Trammell gets the last laugh. Off the swing from Kirsten Parton. Taylor Trammell is going to leave no doubt about that one. What a block by Penn State. We'll take another look at the replay, but it was just all Nittany Lion fire on that one. Jira Vicious over there to provide some disruption, but that was hit straight into the arms of Taylor Trammell. So strong as a defensive middle blocker throughout her entire career. We've seen the offense come to life as well in 2024. And speaking of offense from the middle, Julia Hunt says, I can do that too. 
for this Wisconsin team. She came in with 113 total blocks on the season. Good for seventh in the Big Ten, but she gets a kill out of the middle there, and, and Washington's back up by four. Washington's playing really strong so far. They've come out on top. They got the first point of the match, and they stayed up this entire time. The closest it was was 7-7 tied, but Penn State has not had a lead in this game. Now Julia Hunt's doing a little bit of everything right now. A block, a kill, and a service ace for the Huskies, and that will take us to the media timeout. Washington up by five in the first of this best of five. Don't go anywhere. Your head coach, Katie Schumacher, Conley, coming off her 200th career win as a collegiate coach. That includes her time at UIC and at Penn. She's in her third year here at Penn State, and she's won almost four out of every five matches. She's been here with the Nittany Lions. Of course, as you see at the bottom, was a part of that national championship team in 19. 99 for Penn State. The Lions trying to get to 27 and 2 on the season with a win today. Washington trying to improve to 20 and 8 and take a big step toward their NCAA tournament hopes as they're kind of one of the bubble teams right now. As Hunt sends that one into the net. Something we mentioned a little bit was Penn State struggles in first sets this year. They're 20 Six and two on the season, but only 19 and nine in opening sets this year is Penn State. Slow starts have been a trend. Can they fight back from this one? Start to serve. Barton, strong swing. Really nothing Penn State could do about that. Really not. The ball went all the way back into the band. I mean, I don't think they can even run that for quick. <laughs> <laughs> the all Pac-12 freshman team selection from last year. The sophomore at a Chandler, Arizona. Kirsten Barton. 3.47 kills per set is her average this season. Start tight set to the net, but Jess Merzik with the hops from the left side. Got up, attacked that ball at its highest point and hammers it home. Take another look at that one. Jess Merzik, just all that power on that one. She has a high volleyball IQ. She knows where to place it so that Washington can be tripped up. Stark gave her a set that she could attack on very efficiently, but Washington comes back on the other side. Elise Haney, the sophomore, who was one of the bright spots on Friday night in that 3-0 loss to Ohio State. She did have six blocks in that game for the Huskies. She gets her first kill on her first swing there. And Washington creeping closer to that magic number 25 as they're up by five. 17 to 12, you see at the bottom of your screen. Barton to serve, Merzik to receive. Back set to a sliding Mendelssohn and got it just down. Cross court in the quarter. Maggie Mendelssohn was very efficient attacking on the slide Thursday night against Purdue, and you see it there once again. Penn State is starting to look a little bit stronger. They're using more communication as of late to try to pass it to different players, try to get Washington tripped up. And they go on a bit of a run here as Mendelssohn Let's that serve in. Back set to Bush, tipping over the top of the block, but they'll call a net violation. Bush is a little bit confused, as I believe they called the violation on her. Get a look at it here, Big Ten Plus. I think they actually call her over the center line. Maybe not into the net. That's a violation regardless, though, on Bush as she was going for the kill. So, Penn State now back within three. Mendelssohn keeps the serve. Rainbows it over. Bush will try again off the top of Trammell's block, and it's going to land out of bounds. So Amani Bush able to tool it and get on the board after that error on the last point, her second kill. Lauren Bays at 18 14 for Washington. Played by Angelina Stark. Trammell pushes it over for Penn State. Hensley kind of had to wait for that one from the left side. Now here's Merzik on the D-ball. Jess Merzik missed it out of bounds. Merzik two kills, two errors on six swings for her. Washington back up by five. He's kind of floats that one, easily received by Stark to Stark. And then Hannah down through the block and over toward us. <laughs> Usually happens, though, when Cameron Hanna hits a volleyball, it's, it's kind of got a mind of its own after that. Yeah, I'll take a replay on this one. Luckily, Casey's computer is okay. <laughs> yeah, it, 
kind of hit it like right at the top of the screen and, and just bent it back a little bit. That thing's old anyway, but. Overpass from Hannah. Off the serve from Izzy Stark and Cameron Hannah. Able to terminate that one easily for Penn State and Leslie Gabriel. Well, this is the first time the two teams have met in six years. Well, now meet annually as Big Ten opponents in the new 18-team conference. Washington trying to get a side out of the timeout to get to 20. Jerevicius is sent back. They'll do just that. Julia Hunt over there along with Maddie Ensley to seal the antenna and get Washington up by four. Washington has just looked stellar ever since. We've said it time and time again. Penn State seems to be struggling a little bit, but Washington knows their game. They're dropping it just short. They're sending it over however they can to try to get points and capitalizing on Penn State's errors. Three blocks for the Huskies in this first set. Hannah from the right side, and it takes some speed off of it. It's played up by Fletcher. Hensley over the block. The left side, Jarrah Vicious off the top of the block, almost coming right toward us. It's <laughs> a little worried for your head there, Allie, but uh, just deflected off the foam in front of us is Caroline Jarrah Vicious, one of those powerful swingers on this team, and you get an example of it there. Don't worry, I was already hit at practice earlier, so <laughs> yes, I think were. I'm done for the day, hopefully. <laughs> Don't say that now. Oh, there's a service ace for Penn State. Much needed for the Nittany Lions, and Ava Faldudo, the freshman, delivers it. Second ace of the opening set for Penn State. Gets them within two. Number two. Try again. From the middle, Hunt off of Trammell. Kept alive by Izzy Stark. Jura Vicious from the right side, sent back, covered by Grimes. Going to be a joust at the net. It falls on the Washington side. It'll be a Penn State point. Good communication there for Penn State. Just watching that ball all the way through. You see it again here. Jess Merzik trying <laughs> to make sure that she doesn't touch it. Not to cut you off, Allie. I think that would have gone over anyway. I'm not sure that Merzik ever touched it. I honestly would like to get I another look at it. They're, they're going to credit the kill to Merzik. It was going to be close anyway. Unconventional way for <laughs> Izzy Stark to get an assist. She Crested over a thousand in her young career in her freshman season against Illinois last Friday. Service error gives the point back to Washington. They're up by two. Here's Stark to Merzik, much more conventional, but played up nicely by Howry, although a little out of control, and it eventually rolls over to the wrecking crew. Just too hot to handle from Jess Merzik. Lauren Bay is ringing all the way in. I thought she was going to dive into the crowd, <laughs> but. He was about to go crowd surfing there for the Huskies, <laughs> it looked like, but instead, it's a point for Penn State. They were down by as many as five in this set. They've crawled back to one, and Jillian Grimes is going to send that serve long, and that has been part of the story for Penn State. Their sixth service error of the set, a position where they have had a lot of success in recent weeks. So far, not really today. It's helped keep Washington in this thing. In addition to the Huskies hitting 278, Penn State hitting 200 so far. Juravicious attacks that one. The overpass comes to Mersick. And Jess Mersick able to capitalize as Washington couldn't control that dig. Comes over the net, and Jess Mersick right there to attack it. Jess Mersick. The leader for Penn State in kills so far and total attack. She's just on fire. Strong serve from Angelina Stark. Washington's just got to get a free ball over. They do. Played easily by Faldudo. Stark tried to dump it. Couldn't do it. Now Fletcher from the right side. Merzik past the block. Howry back set. Fletcher off the block and Fletcher's going to get it down. Kuhn Fletcher coming up big for Washington off the bench. She's got two kills now and a hard-fought point from number 14 in black for the Huskies. And Penn State will talk things over. And Kuhn Fletcher, she's coming in as a fifth-year senior. She played four years in the SEC at South Carolina. She was the leader attacker for the Gamecocks last year.
Right back at you here from Rec Call. Washington up by two, closing in on a set one win. You get a look at Amani Bush, and it's been a very balanced performance for Washington. She is tied for the team lead with two kills in this opening set, but you take a look for her. She's got 690 kills. She's closing in on that 700 career kill milestone. And for Amani Bush, who missed all of last season, after undergoing shoulder surgery prior to the year, she has come back for a junior campaign and performed at a high level. And speaking of performing at a high level, how about Washington's serving game? And Kyun Fletcher, who had the kill that led to the Penn State timeout, sets up set point for Washington. Kyun Fletcher will now try to end it. Huskies have three opportunities at set point, and that one is just out of bounds. Fletcher thought maybe she painted it, and I think Leslie Gabriel thinks so as well. She's got the green card, and we're going to take a look at this one. So challenge is called. Head coach Leslie Gabriel pulls out the green card, and we'll see perhaps if set one ends on a replay reversal. If Fletcher was, it is, point, Penn State stands as called. So they did not see enough evidence to overturn or maybe saw a different angle that showed a little bit of a different story. Either way, Hume Fletcher trying to end the set with back-to-back -back service aces. Instead, it's an ace and an error, but Washington still has two more set points to play with. They'll have to get a side out to win it. And Jess Merzik, who already has one service ace, Try to add another here. And keep Penn State alive in set one. Swing for the middle, played up by Merzik. This is Hannah through the block and down. Penn State staves off another one. Take a look at that replay here. This is why Penn State is a dangerous team and why Washington was really hoping that that challenge was reversed to not especially give the serve to Jess Merzik. Set point three of three for Washington. They can still win it on this point. It's tipped over, kept alive. Hannah one more time through the block. Kept up by Wilmus. Washington's got a scramble. Barton is able to send it over. Hannah off the block and Penn State ties it at 24. Huge point, huge few points for Penn State, I should say. First time that the set is tied since that 7-7 mark and Penn State's on a 3-0 scoring run. It's a Cam Hanna take. Lion team, Hanna and Merzik have combined for 10 points. For 10 kills, I should say, beg your pardon. In this opening set, and Merzik will try to continue her run behind the serving line. First to score back-to-back -back points will be your winner of set one as it's 24 all. Merzik just clears the net tape. Another strong serve. Washington plays it in system, though. Grimes kept it alive. Wow, what a dig from Jillian Grimes. Washington's got to play. Leslie Gabriel thought maybe that Penn State was in the net, but the Huskies get the kill anyway. From the left side, it's Barton. I thought Gabriel was going to go onto the court at <laughs> one point, but doesn't matter. Anyway, her team gets the point no matter what. Kirsten Barton gets the kill at set point number four for the Huskies. Recall gets loud. Merzik the receive. Hannah once again. Nice dig by Bays. Kept up at the net. It'll be Penn State points. Double contact called on Washington. Not sure that head coach Leslie Gabriel likes that call as much either as it kind of bounced off. Please, Hannah just looks like she got tripped up in the net. It looked like she was about to go over and then the ball was being sent by the net. So. Not really sure what happened there, but we will continue play at 25 all. It kind of bounced off of Haney awkwardly two separate ways. 25 all. First to 27 is trying to tip it over was Wilmus. Couldn't do so. Washington gets a second swing. It's Barton attacking for the back row. And Kirsten Barton, man, are the Huskies glad to have her back. It looked like Cameron Hanna just got a tip off of that one, but it wasn't enough to send it in the opposite direction. Three kills for Barton. Two in these last couple points is She's starting to come alive for this Huskies team. Set point number five for Washington. Is this the one? Received by Stark. Set by Stark. Swing by Hannah off the block. Howry collects it and lands out of bounds. Julia Hunt missed it. 
She tried to touch it down inside of that pack line, and we're knotted at 26. We continue back and forth. That ball was another close one towards the back line. We'll take a look at that one, um, but we won't get a challenge call. And Gabriel may have been thinking about it, decides not to. Hunt off the slide is roofed. Stark and Trammell, two seniors, give Penn State their first set point of set one. And the crowd of Rec Hall is going to come to their feet for the first time today. Pelt the block from Angelina Stark. 27 26. Her sister Izzy will serve it from the back row. Trammell into the net. Actually, Barton got it down anyway, threw it past her. I thought Trammell may have been in the net regardless, but either way, Barton gets the kill. Yeah, it did get down just kind of between her chest and the net. So Washington saves their first set point. We continue at least to 29. Stark on the move, setting her sister. Played up by Barton in the back row. Now Fletcher, strong cut, strong swing. Set point six upcoming for Washington. Kuhn Fletcher has had a lot of crucial points in the red zone of set one for the Huskies. Washington really is fighting on this one as we will take a timeout on the floor. Yeah, head coach Katie schumacher Colley is going to call her second and final timeout of the set. So now both sides out of timeouts in what has been a <laughs> wild back and forth. Set number one. And Washington finally close out this set. That's going to be the question. They have set point once again at 28-27. Trying to finally put the dagger in the Nittany Lions and pick up a first set upset. Served by Howry, swing by Hannah, covered by Merzik. Wilmus got it down. Andre Wilmus finally brings an end to set one at Washington. We'll take it on the road, 29 to 27 in the opening frame. Match with six kills, and on the other side, Kirsten Barton with four kills. Yeah, and a lot of those kills for Barton, at least three of them were kind of down the stretch. Those last couple points, of course, Cam Hanna helped rally Penn State from being down by three at 24-21, but they were unable to pick up the set victory. Washington now going to try and go on the attack and see if they can lead it 2-0, but Taylor Trammell has other thoughts from the middle. She gets the kill. And Penn State does get that first point of the match, or of the set, excuse me, like Washington did of the first set. Worth noting that Jocelyn Nathan's in for the first time today as a defensive specialist. She started the last three matches for Penn State at that spot. Did not start this afternoon, but is in now. Jess Merzik from the left side. Washington trying to run and get under it. They just run out of room. As Jess Merzik picks up kill number five. For Penn State as they're up 2-0 early. Long run for Kirsten Barton, but I'm going to switch over to Gillian Grimes serving. Grimes sends that one into the net. It's the conventional kind of starting seven here for Penn State now in this second set. Maggie Mendelson in the lineup as well, back at middle blocker. Caroline Jerevicius at opposite. You've got Stark, Merzik, Grimes, Nathan, and Trammell. They have... It's been the regular Penn State starting lineup over the past couple matches in here to start set number two. Serve sent away by Bays. Stark collects it at the net and got it to Merzik. Nice job by Izzy Stark to retrieve it at the net with one hand and give Merzik an opportunity off the bump set from Maggie Mendelson, or the, the bump from Maggie Mendelson over to Stark. And Merzik finishes it off. She's got two kills and three Penn State points. Serve received by Bays. Here's Bates over the block. Dug by Grimes. Merzik keeps it over. One hand set there from Wilson and Stark. As it was going to be an over and back anyway, but Stark was going to terminate the overpass regardless. Point for Penn State. Penn State tries to take this one away a little. Leading by three. It was just the same but opposite. So last set, Washington came out three to one, but then Penn State moved it to three to two. Different story in this one. And a double stuff from Maggie Mendelson and Jess Merzik. Going against Washington's right side. And Amani Bates. Fourth block for the Nittany Lions, first in this set as they have taken command early of this frame. Washington scrambling back on their heels, could use a side out. Mendelssohn and Stark, good block there, but it's covered by the Huskies. 
Ensley got it through that time. Mendelssohn on the slide, punched by Bates. Bates plays it off the net, and Barton misses it out of bounds in the back row. Had to swing at it from where she was on the court. Just couldn't quite get it down in play. Penn State is looking more aggressive, this, uh, especially in their serving game, which is one of the things that Coach Katie schumacher Qualley said that they were working on. They said serving aggressively wins big matches. 4-0 run for Penn State. Julia Hunt had to get a little bit crafty to get that one over the Penn State block, but it works. And finally ends the run. Hunt will pick up her second kill of the afternoon. And the first kill for Washington in this set after they had three errors on seven swings prior to that. Can they get back into this one? It's Howery on the serve, tough receive from Faldudo. Merzik now takes a half-hearted swing to get it over. Now Ensley is sent back. Maggie Mendelson got the meat and potatoes of that. Izzy Stark was there to help out as well. Get a look at the replay on a Big Ten Plus. And Maggie Mendelson, strong defensive middle blocker for this Penn State team. Comes up with a big play there to give the Nittany Lions the serve back. Now here's Ensley over the block, and neither Faldudo nor Norm Merzik could keep it up in the back row. Ensley now with three kills for Washington. Senior from California who has crested over the 1,000 kill mark for her career. She did that last month against Iowa the Huskies. Here's Cameron Hanna, sent back by the block, but covered by Penn State. Merzik from the back row, just behind the three-meter line. Sent right back by Bays. Good set from Stark to Hanna, and she goes cross-court to put it away. Cameron Hanna, another player on the Nittany Lions that just has such power, especially when there's room to go cross-court. I think it just adds so much potential onto the ball. Hannah's really efficient attacking down the line, but she's got the ability to go cross court when she hits from the left side as well. And here's Quinn Menger in to serve for Penn State. It's played up by Wilmus. Fletcher. Hune Fletcher has done some really good things for Washington here off the bench for this Huskies team. And she has four kills on five swings. Pretty remarkable efficiency for her. She does average a little under two kills a set this year. She's been a big player off the bench for a lot of the season. Continuing to contribute here for Washington. They need a lot more though, down by four. Stark collects the set, tight to the net. Sent back through the middle by Haney. Now Hannah, strong swing, and just able to get it through the block was Cameron Hannah. Look at the replay as Hannah working against double lock for Washington just squeezes it between the net and Fletcher and Haney who were trying to roof her. 9-4 in favor of the Nittany Lions. Tapped over, played up by Grimes. Nobody could really get to it though. Stark punched it for Penn State. Washington another swing, who else? Kuhn Fletcher once again. She just cannot miss the hardwood right now for the Huskies and she's keeping them in this second set. Kuhn Fletcher, you talked about her efficiency, and she just continues to prove it time and time after she touches the ball. Fletcher this season hits it 210 efficiency for the campaign. <laughs> Obviously, a lot better than that right now. Five for six. That's 833 for uh, those like myself who aren't very good at math and need a computer <laughs> to calculate it for us. Stark sets from well behind the three meter line. Jura Vicious swing from the left side. Now, Barton, did she get a touch? No, I believe she was into the net. So she touched the net, didn't get a touch from a Penn State player. Point for Penn State. The Lions have held on to this lead by and large if we're going on that 4-0 scoring run to start the set. Trammell gonna set Stark, who's gonna set your officious off the block, all right. Little double set action there. Trammell from the middle doing something that she's not overly used to. And then Stark and Jerovicious cash in for Penn State and it forces a head coach Leslie Gabriel timeout. Even the match at one apiece and you take a look at Cameron Hanna and her numbers as of late for the Nittany Lions. 10 straight matches with 10 straight kills for the 
Clemson transfer, now in her second year in blue and white. She had 14 kills to lead all Penn State players against Purdue on Thursday. She's been really good against the Boilermakers this year, but frankly really good against a lot of teams this season. And it's continuing today for her as she leads all players with eight kills in this match. Yeah, so just two kills away from extending that lead. Talked about the success and Jess Merzik has hit double digit kills in almost every match this season, but Cameron Hanna as of late, alongside of her, those two powerful senior outside hitters. Merzik, the second team All-American last year. Cameron Hanna might be getting some All-American consideration this year for Penn State. She was second team All-Big Ten last season. In her first year with the Nittany Lions, two time second team ACC with Clemson. Swing misses out of bounds, and Penn State will keep it rolling out of the Washington timeout. As Bush couldn't paint the line, going cross court. So Cameron Hanna, her serving game has been pretty good for Penn State. And right as I say that, she serves out of bounds, but lately that has been, she's been part of that improvement that we've talked about for the Nittany Lions. Not able to paint that one down the sideline. Washington will try to get something moving here with Kirsten Barton. And serve Merzik. Trammell, quick attack from the middle. Bates, off the block touch. Jara Vicious from the right side. Strong swing, but played up. The dig there from Wilson for Washington. Now Merzik! That's a missile from Jess Merzik, the graduate from Livonia, Michigan, making things happen on her senior day. That's her seventh kill of the night, though not leading Penn State's killer, um, leader in kills today. Been those two pin hitters that have carried the load offensively for Penn State a lot of the season, but so far particularly today with eight and seven kills respectively. Mendelssohn sent back by the Washington block. Haney. And a Fletcher, I believe. So get a look at the replay on Big Ten Plus. Beg your pardon, that was Bates over there, but it was Haney who got most of it for the Huskies. Fourth block now for them. And serve sent into the net by Lauren Bays. As well, the stories early for Penn State. They had trouble serving the ball in. They have eight service errors for the match. Washington now with four after that last one. That was an area where they weren't struggling much in the opening set. They're starting to fall a little further behind here in this one. Stark and Mendelssohn there for the block, covered by Washington. Hensley got it over the second time. Now Mendelssohn on the slide, attacks it, finishes it, and gets the kill for Penn State. Maggie Mendelssohn, her second kill. Been a little quiet offensively tonight for Penn State. She had a big performance Thursday night against Purdue with 10 kills on 529 hitting, but attacks there on the slide. Once again, another tough serve from Falduda. Washington was able to play it, but now here's Merzik with a cut. Jess Merzik. Sometimes just automatic from that left side pin. It really is, and like you said, the seniors are coming out to play today for Penn State. They will be honored in a ceremony after the match, and Washington was honored before with just a little flower. Washington was in control a lot of the first set. Penn State has been thoroughly dominant in this second one. They're hitting 400. They've held Washington to negative 087. And that's not going to change here as Merzik and Mendelssohn put the roof on Bates. And they're up by 10. Watch the replay on your screen as Mendelssohn there to help out with Merzik. Bates really didn't have room to go with that volleyball. She'll get a swing here over the top of Merzik's block attempt. Now Merzik the swing, sent back but covered by the Nittany Lions. They've done a nice job in that regard. Merzik able to tip it. Now Bates kind of thought about touching it over. Mendelssohn was right there to disrupt and Ensley. She got fingertips at the net. And finally ends another 4-0 run for Penn State, Maddie Ensley. Kill number four for her. She's got the most attacks of any player on this Washington team. 17, but only on 118 efficiency. Looks 
is Howry for the Huskies. Maggie Mendelson! So it was coming to her from Jess Merzik. Penn State was out of system, but it didn't matter. And Maggie Mendelson able to attack strongly once again from that right side. Maggie Mendelson having a good second set with her efficiency and the team starting to come together, use their time a little bit more wisely in the second set, whether it's passing the ball from player to player or just dipping it like we just saw. <laughs> Going for the dump with Stark Cameron. Hannah says, I'll take care of the overpass once again. It's happened a couple times with some of the swings that Washington hasn't been able to keep off the ground at least efficiently and in control. And in that situation, it flutters back over the net. And Cam Hanna now with nine kills, so she's one shy of that double digit mark here in the second set. How about that sharp cut for the kill? Fletcher did an excellent job of reading that, jumping high in the sky. And look at how sharp she had to cut it past the block of Stark and Mendelssohn does so successfully and her outstanding afternoon continues. Six for seven now is Fletcher. She leads all Washington players in kills. That's the good news. Bad news is they're down by 10 in this second set. Hannah took some speed off it and it pays off. Penn State gets to 20. Nice job touching it over the block of Hunt and Fletcher from Cameron Hanna, that will get her to that double digit kill mark we were talking about. So 11 straight matches with double digit terminations for Hanna. Here's Quinn Menger. 10 service aces in the past three matches. He puts some pressure on Wilmus there. And Bees, unable to keep it off of the ground as it ended up into the net. I don't believe they're gonna rule that a service ace. We'll see either way. So Washington got a couple touches on it. But you can give a lot of credit to Quinn Menger for that point for Penn State. You absolutely can. It looked like it was just a little bit of a miscommunication for Washington. Oh, a bad set on Howry. All right, there's your ace, Quinn Menger. You knew it was only a matter of time. Taylor Trammell in post-game media against Illinois last Friday called Quinn Menger the goat of serving. You see why there? She's now got 11 service aces in the past four matches after she had only had nine on the season prior to that. But she has come up strong for this Penn State team as of late. She gets an ace on senior day. It's another 3-0 run for Penn State. They lead by 13. They're closing in on tying this match at one apiece. Who has one kill on two swings. Everybody else for the Huskies is sitting kind of run around the, the 100 to 100 mark at this point in the match. See if that changes here. Penn State has come out and in full control, hitting 407 with 12 kills. Service ace from Quinn Menger that led to a Washington timeout. She's going to add another. Wilmus couldn't receive it. Quinn Menger back to back service aces for Penn State. And the barrage of points for the Nittany Lions continues. South ball server once again. This time Washington will get a swing out of it. Try Fletcher once again, but this time she misses out of bounds. And it's set point, Penn State. Let's see if the Nittany Lions can end this one in emphatic style. See the number for Menger, three straight with three plus. Not gonna get the ace, almost did. But it's going to be Penn State point. Washington ran out of touches. Menger put the pressure on, and the Nittany Lions end the set on a 6-0 serving run. What a response from Penn State on their senior day. 25-9. They take the second frame, and we're tied at one. To keep the focus on volleyball when you've got a team like Penn State that's performing at as high of a level as they are, it's easy to do that. See if they can find a way to pick up another victory and prove to 17 and 1 in Big Ten play. You take a look at the tail of the tape through two sets. And Penn State now with the advantage in hitting percentage over the Washington Huskies, who are only hitting 076 after a rough second set, but they'll come out with a kill there to start set number three. It's Elise Haney from the middle for Washington. She's got her second kill on her seventh swing. First ball for Washington. 
and that's Washington's first point since late on in the second set. The Penn State ended that second set with a 6-0 scoring run. Another short serve from Bays put some pressure on Merzik, and it's, I think, eventually going to lead to an ace. Yeah, that's what they'll call it for Lauren Bays. As Penn State could never control it, and Bays picks up the ace, the third of the game for the Huskies. Good stuff from Washington's libero, the senior from Orange County, California. Now here's the senior, Jess Merzik, sent back by the block. That was Hunt and Bush for Washington. Jocelyn Nathan leaped out behind her to try to get to that one, but it was just sent too fast, too strong. Washington on a 3-0 run here. This looks a lot more like the first set for the Huskies. They've come out firing out of the intermission. And how about a second service ace for Bays? You don't see Jillian Grimes miss many in the back row, but she missed that one. And Bays cashes in. 4-0 Huskies. She'll continue from behind the line for Washington. Lauren Bays whistles it away. Merzik will receive this time. Trammel out of the middle, sent back, covered by Nathan. Jerevicious is out of bounds. Jerevicious wasn't able to get a touch at the net. And Washington continues the run. How about this response from this Husky team? And head coach Katie schumacher Collie is going to challenge that last play, thinking that there may have been a touch at the net on, head or on, on a Caroline Jerevicious's swing. So we'll go to the monitor and we'll try to find out together. But Penn State quickly back on their heels here in this third frame. And again, you, you got to give credit to head coach Leslie Gabriel and her squad when you lose a second set by 16 like the Huskies did. And then you, you come out like this. You got five points on a 5-0 run. You'll see it here. Cover by Nathan. Jervicious get a fingertip. My initial instinct says no. Jervicious was pretty insistent. Maybe if we slow it down, we could maybe get a look. But... At least from that angle, didn't see anything overly conclusive or really anything to think that it was touching the net. Let's see here from the net cam. You can slow it down a little bit. This is going to tell the story. Oh, it's, it's a little closer maybe than initially looked, but I don't see, I don't think I see fingertips move. If we can get that end cam again, that angle, that might show us. We're able to slow that down, but either way, all right, our Big Ten Plus production crew working hard here on this replay. Thank you to them. And does it get Ensley at the net is the question. I don't think that it does from that angle. I don't really see her fingertips move. Let's see if the referees agree. I think it's a tough call to tell. I think I agree with you, Casey, but we'll see the call, and the point will go to Washington, so just not enough evidence to overturn it. So stands as called, and Washington still up 5-0. Lauren Bays continuing her run behind the service line. Serves it short again. Merzik able to receive that time, and that was nicely in system for Penn State. Taylor Trammell finally gets Penn State's first kill of the set. Taylor Trammell has been quiet so far in this match. That's her first kill of the day, but she is another player on Penn State that's been making sounds this season. Grimes, tough serve. Swing by Hunt. Played up by the Nittany Lions. Dura Vicious off the top of the net. Bump set from Bays, the libero. Hard hit by Ensley. It bounces around, and it's going to land out of bounds on the Penn State side as that was disrupted by the block of Mendelssohn and Jerevicious and then kind of took a couple bounces and doinks off the net and finally lands in the blue. Now Penn State trying to go on a run of their own. Remember they were down by five in the first set, came back to win. Bush takes a touch at that one and Penn State can't keep it off the floor. Monty Bush gets the kill for Washington. There's been some scrambling from both sides. We saw it two plays ago with Washington and then there for Penn State. Just 
just a little bit of a lack of communication, but that center of the court can be really hard to defend when you don't know at angle the ball is coming in. Bush with the kill, her third. Apologies, might have been saying her name wrong earlier. I, I have no doubt Amani Bush would be a good basketball player, though, if she uh, decided to go that route, but she's pretty good in the volleyball department as well. She's got three kills for the Huskies and trying to help extend Washington's lead. They'll do so with a block now. The defense for the Huskies coming to play at the net. Kuhn Fletcher over there with Jolia Hunt, and it's 7-2. That's Washington's ninth block of the match so far, and it's a big one. The Huskies try to take control of set three, take a 2-1 lead in the match. Penn State try to fight back. Jura Vicious hammers it off the top of the block and gets the kill. That one lands in rec hall, the opposite hitter, powerful player, the redshirt freshman from Nebraska. That was where she spent her redshirt season last year before traversing across the Big Ten to play at Penn State. She's got four kills. Played up by Bays off the serve from Falduda. Ensley touched it over. It was covered by the Nittany Lions. Now from the back row, attacking behind the line is Barton. And Kirsten Barton on the back row attack for Washington. Don't believe she had a kill in that second set. She was very crucial for Washington down the stretch of set one. She gets back on the board there. Back in the starting lineup for the first time in over a month. And she's now got five kills for the Huskies. Stark will bump set Merzik, who goes cross court. Easily played up by Bates. Trying to punch it through is Barton. It ricochets off her shoulder. Fletcher trying to make something out of nothing. Merzik will punch it over the block as that looked like it was almost going to be a joust at the net. Now Barton understands where she's at on the court. Stayed behind the three-meter line. Grimes tried to save it. She kept it up right in front of the stands, but eventually Penn State just couldn't keep it off the ground. A wild and bizarre point. Eventually, Barton's going to get credit for the kill. You have to give credit to Penn State for trying, though. Though Jess Merzik just wasn't able to get to that one. Stark there to dump it off the dig that came quickly to her from Grimes. Grimes gets on that one. Merzik is roofed. Fletcher and Hunt once again. And Kuhn Fletcher's just doing everything for the Huskies this afternoon. And Coach Katie schumacher Collie is going to call a timeout. Kuhn Fletcher got the meat and potatoes of that one. Her second block. The Huskies on a 3-0 scoring run. It's 10. This match will be Friday against this Nittany Lion team. Cornhuskers will have an opportunity to win the Big Ten title outright on Friday. Penn State could put themselves in position to earn at least a share of it if they can beat Nebraska on Friday. Take a look at where Washington's at. 9-8 in conference play this season. Remember, this is a Washington team that was undefeated 10-0 in non-conference play, started out the season on that long winning streak. Has had some big upsets throughout the course of the season. Has also dropped some games that I know the Huskies would like to have back, but they're still in position to try and make it to the NCAA tournament. If they get a win today over this Penn State team, upsetting the number four team in the country, that could make it all but automatic as it's a service ace out of the timeout from Maddie Ensley. She just tucked it in the back line. Ensley with the ace for Washington. She'll try to add to it here. Sliding Mendelssohn, and the block was right there. Read it all the way to seal the antenna. Barton and Hunt on the double block, and Washington just continues to run away with set three. Washington really has been utilizing that blocking game all throughout the match, but specifically in this third set. That's their fourth block of the set. Fourth block of the set, eighth of the match in total. Penn State needs a side out desperately to keep any sliver of hope alive here in set three. Martin punches it, Grimes in the back row, Hannah attacking for the back row, and Washington can't keep it off the floor. They tried their hardest, but Cam Hannah gets her first kill of the set. That was much needed for Penn State. As we talked about, they've got a lot more work to do now with the serve back. See if they can chip away at this one at a time or if Washington can quickly get Merzik off the service line. 
Back set, Fletcher, she's been almost automatic for Washington, won't get it there. Stark goes for the dump and gets it down. Izzy Stark finds the floor for Penn State from her center spot. Izzy Stark, one of the freshmen on the team, has just been sensational for Penn State throughout this year. Stark was excited to attack that, almost attacked it into the net. It bounced off the tape, falls on the Washington side though. Once again, Fletcher's swing is played up. Fletcher and Hunt there to disrupt. Hannah's swing, she'll get a second opportunity. Stark able to kind of get on the floor and get it over. Fletcher now sent back by the block of Mendelssohn and Hannah. Tipped over by Barton. Mendelssohn kind of missed the swing. Somehow the rally stays alive. Now Barton, set was a little too tight for her. She had to push it over. Same for Hannah, but Hannah eventually gets it down and had a little word on the other side. Did Cam Hannah a long rally for both sides. Just kind of bizarre and awkward really the whole way. And Hannah able to get it down. I would argue, Casey, that that was the best rally so <laughs> far of the match. It just showed the resiliency of both teams to fight for the point. Fletcher once again disrupted. She struggled to get it over the block lately. And Stark there to dump it from the right side. Good read, saw the open floor and said, okay, I'll do it myself. And Penn State now starting to answer what Washington did. They're on a 4-0 run, they're within five and a set that almost looked like a lost cause for the Nittany Lions all of a sudden. Seems like it's somewhat back in play. As mercic has gone on a run from behind the line. Izzy Starks had two kills from her center spot. Washington will get the kill there. Mendelssohn was over the top of the net. Maggie Mendelssohn was close there, trying to disrupt the volleyball, but just creeped over the net for Penn State. Going the board as a kill for Alexis Howry. Off of Mendelssohn's error, and Washington back up by a half dozen. Once again, the time it was Haney there with Stark. Fletcher and Haney there to disrupt. It ricochets over to the Washington side. Fletcher, what a cut down the line. Kuhn, Fletcher past the block, pinks it in for the Huskies. Kuhn, Fletcher has just looked stellar for Washington all match long. We'll see it again there. She just paints that corner of the court. Julia Hunt's going to send that one long for the Huskies. Penn State quickly gets it back, but again, Fletcher, her, her efficiency's gone down because she's had to take a lot of swings in this set, and Penn State's block has had a little more of an answer for her, but she's still got seven kills on 429 hitting. That leads all players for Washington. Hannah and Merzik have 12 and 8 respectively for Penn State. Here's Quinn Menger, who had those two service aces, almost got some help from the net tape, and Hannah there to dump down the overpass. We've, we've seen it on a couple of the aces over this run for Quinn Menger. She's used the net tape to her advantage, and it, it didn't go as an ace there, but it kind of disrupted things for Washington, and Hannah was able to use all 11 feet of her jump to finish it off. This time it's received by Bays, tight to the net. Fletcher will try to get it through. She does. Now Hannah, oh my goodness. Cam Hannah with a strike. Might be the hardest hit ball we've seen all day. I almost feel, I actually do feel bad for Alexis Howery. I would not want to be on the receiving end of that one. <laughs> need, a, need a radar gun for that volleyball. The velocity it came off of Cam Hanna. 14 kills for her. As she tries to help Penn State claw back in this one, they're on another 3-0 run. After trailing by seven, it's down the four. Barton will try to end it. And Barton, deep cross court, ends the run and gets Washington to 15. Barton, six kills, beg your pardon, seven kills now. Four errors, 21 swings, so it's 143 efficiency for her, but when Washington has needed Barton to come up with some big swings, she has delivered. Molly Wilson. One of the two setters Washington employs on this team behind the line. Hannah, hard hit off the block. There wasn't a lot 
than Amani Bush could have done about that as Hannah just angled it right at her. And it goes well out of bounds. Now 15 for Hannah. Midway through the third set. Offensive explosion for number eight in white. Barton will set it to the pin, and Bush, she got it over. Grimes sets the back row to Hannah. Now Barton, right side, Hannah there to disrupt. Bush was able to give Penn State a free ball. Now Merzik attacking from behind the three-meter line. Barton, past the block, kept alive. Hannah rolls down and falls on the Washington side. Just showing off how stellar she has been. Take a look at that one. And she's had 15 kills on the day. It's not even her season high. That comes at 22 on September 6 versus Kentucky. Well, it's been a Cam Hannah takeover of the 12 points that Penn State has in this set. She scored six of them via kills. She's got 16 for the match. Service error there. Gives it back to Washington. You, you know, it's easy to kind of forget with the run Penn State's been on a little bit as of late, that Washington still has a four-point advantage in this match, or in this set, and they're getting closer to the 25 they need. Here's Hannah from the right side. It just doesn't matter. Left side, right side, tight to the net, a little bit off. Cameron Hannah finds a way to finish. That time on the D-ball. You see going through the block. 17 kills for Hannah, seven in the set. Now, off the head of Barton. Using her noggin is Kirsten Barton to keep it alive. Now, Mercer cross court. Penn State within two. Mercer now with eight, make it nine kills for the Nittany Lions to match her jersey number on senior day, Hannah. Trying to continue the aggressive serving behind the line. That was a tough receive for Barton, and it leads to an overpass. Merzik finishes it off. Leslie Gabriel thinks that Merzik was over the net. We'll see. Don't believe there'll be a challenge. 3-0 run. Penn State has clawed back from down nine, and Hannah just unable to tuck it inside that back line. Washington retains the advantage. They get the serve back with Lauren Bays. Remember, Bays was behind the line with two aces for that 5-0 run that Washington started this set on. And as a response, Jocelyn Nathan comes in and serve receive. Merzik plays it short. Jura Vicious! I'm not going to say it. You know what I'm thinking. Caroline Jerovicious able to finish it off for Penn State. Did you know what I was thinking, Allie? I actually don't. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I can explain it to you at this point at, at risk of sounding corny, but either way, Caroline <laughs> Jerovicious. And now, service ace for Jillian Grimes, and we're tied at 17. Penn State just one of those resilient teams uses every player on the court. They have six players who have come up with kills tonight, and that's one of their biggest strengths, being able to pass it to each other and just utilize every player. Grimes able to cash in with the service ace. You mentioned for Penn State, the offense coming to play here in this third. She's hitting 444. Four attack, four kills on nine swings for her from the setter spot. When you get her involved in the offense, good things usually happen for the Nittany Lions. On the other side, it's been balanced, not quite relying on as many points from the kill department as Washington. Of course, they got blown out in that second set. That kind of skews the stats a little bit, but they've also had the advantage in the blocking game. Eight blocks for the Huskies. They've got five aces to match Penn State. Three of those coming in this set alone, though, for Washington. Once again, Barton and Fletcher lead the team and kills seven apiece. But we're tied at 17. Out of the Washington timeout, Amani Bush brings an end to the run. Washington back out in front. Bush, as we mentioned, has led this team in kills each of the last five matches. She only has four this afternoon, four errors, so she's back at triple zeros hitting. Trying to come alive here and add another dynamic weapon to this Washington team. We know she's capable of that. Caroline Jerovicious through the block, and it's eventually going to fall. 
Caroline Jarevicius answers on the other side, and now we're going back and forth. Foul due to the freshman in to serve. She had an ace earlier for this Penn State team. The DS, five digs for her to assist as well. This is Ensley off the block. Maddie Ensley from the right side. Was pretty active, particularly early on in the match for Washington. But was able to get her, actually no, beg your pardon, it was out of bounds. Sorry, my apologies. So it's a point for Penn State. They have the lead. Up with the swing through the middle. Kept alive by Nathan. Now here's Merzik. That was out of bounds. I got that one right. <laughs> now we're tied at 19. <laughs> so back to back attacking errors. Ensley missing cross court. Merzik missing long. Knotted up at 19 with Maddie Ensley. Back to serve for the Huskies. Quick set to Mendelssohn from Stark. That was coming in a hurry, and Mendelssohn still able to attack it on the slide play for Penn State. Now four kills for her to go along with her four blocks. And 20 serving 19. <laughs> Did you ever think at 12 to 3 that Penn State would be the first to 20? Here we are. But now Washington quickly gets there as well as Merzik can't clear the net on the serve. Could we be potentially heading for some more extra volleyball here after we had some in the opening set? 29-27, Washington won that frame. Now in the red zone, a set three and a crucial point of the match. And Julia Hunt trade service errors with Penn State as well. Nittany Lions back up by one. Quinn Menger, who helped put away the second set for Penn State at about this point, We'll try to see if she can do the same here. Already with two service aces today on her senior day for the Nittany Lions. South ball serve sent over. Left side, Barton touches it through. Bump by Menger. It's going to spin off the net onto the Washington side. Little miscommunication on the attack, and Washington ran out of hits. Kind of looked like that Wilmis was maybe going to attack from the back row. I think Barton thought the same, and neither player really got to it. They couldn't clear the net. And that was their third touch, so they ran out of time. That was the second time that's happened today for Washington. We saw it in the second set as well. It's just, again, it all comes down to that communication between players, especially on a ball that's so chaotic like that one. Yeah, you've got to have that communication in those situations to know who's going for it. No doubt about who's going for it there. It's Barton down the line. Washington kind of want to say had to have that point, and they do. Molly Wilson will serve now for the Huskies. The junior setter who runs as part of that 6-2 rotation with Alexis Howery at the setter position. Howery the freshman. Wilson the junior behind the line, and this is it long. Point for Penn State, they're up by two within two of a 2-1 lead in the match. Go setter to setter here in the rotations. Zizzy Stark will serve for the Nittany Lions. There's the tape, a tough one. Wilson collects it, Barton attacks it. Barton missed it. Out of bounds, set point. Penn State, timeout, Washington. The Nittany Lions will have three opportunities to try and fully come back from a nine-point deficit to win this third set. We'll see that on the other team in that category last year. A second-team All-American at Merzik was in her first season in blue and white. Look at her numbers today. Ten kills on 29 swings. Only 138 efficiency, but she's done a lot in other departments as well with two blocks, eight digs. She's been a... Double-double machine this season for Penn State. She's got nine of those this year, which you kind of have to be as a six-rotation player. But again, it's just all the different things that Mercer can provide for this Penn State team offensively and defensively. It certainly is. She's just one of the five stellar Penn State seniors graduating after this season. Stark serve with the first set point. Barton keeps it alive. Through the block for Penn State and Kirsten Barton. 
Had some crucial late points in set one. They need more where that came from here as she'll have to do it from behind the service line. Penn State's got two set points remaining. They need a side out to win it. And take a 2-1 advantage in the match. The call gets loud. Received by Hannah. Stark has to move. Jerevicious had to shove it through. Ensley over the top of the block. Nittany Lions stay alive. Hannah to win set three. Who else but Cameron Hannah? Her eighth kill of the set, her 18th of the match. And the Nittany Lions are up 2-1 on senior day. Just to take you through that scoring, it was such a hectic third set, especially for Penn State. Washington was up 5-0, then took a nine-point lead to go up 12-3. Penn State was able to tie it at 17 apiece. Finally was able to take their first lead of the set, 19. Can be resilient once again, or if Washington can find a way to stay alive here from Rat Cause. The Huskies team that has scrapped all season. They picked up some impressive victories. This would be the most impressive of all if they can find a way to rally from down 2-1. We shall see. But if Washington's going to find a way to win this match, they're, they're going to have to try something to slow down Cameron Hanna because the night that she has had has just been impressive to say the least. 18 kills on 455 hitting for her. That leads all players by a long shot in the match. Jess Merzik with 10 kills as well. I think it's safe to say that Cameron Hanna's been hot to go in this match for Penn State. <laughs> it absolutely is. See if she keeps it going here in set four. All right. Washington with their backs against the wall. What do they have to start set four? It's a serve out of bounds from Barton. She was trying to paint the right sideline. So quickly, it'll be one serving zero. Now Jillian Grimes for the Nittany Lions. That's the 19th service error of the match in total. Tough serve by Grimes that hung in the air forever and eventually gives Fletcher an opportunity. Cute Fletcher, kill number eight for her now on the match. And she's still got really just about the best efficiency of any hitter on this Washington team, 438. Audra Wilmus is hitting 500 on two swings and Lexus Howery Got a dump in her only swing, but aside from that, it's been Fletcher who's carried the load. Merzik over the top of the block. Washington trying to keep it up. They do. It's Jerevicious right side. Cuts it past. Gets it down. No, out of bounds. Out of bounds for Jerevicious. She cut it past the block and cut it a little too far. I feel like these early points are... Going to be crucial here for Washington. We'll see how they respond. They were in such control early on in that third set as Bays, with a little help from the net tape, gets her third ace of the afternoon for Washington. That'll help the cause for the Huskies. But again, they were in that position in the third set where they were up by a lot, and Penn State found a way to come back. Can they repeat it with a different result this time? Jerevicious, that time, cuts it down in bounds. Jerevicious up to seven kills now. She started to come alive here a little bit throughout the past set or two for Penn State. She has taken over at that opposite hitter spot for the Nittany Lions and provided a lot of great production, particularly throughout the second half of this season. And that attack out of bounds from Fletcher. Who hasn't missed many this afternoon, but didn't get a touch and didn't get it down in front of the line that time. This has been such a back and forth match the entire time. I feel like Penn State and Washington has been tied up in every single set, whether it's at seven or 17. And then one side just takes a bit of a lead from there. Bonnie Bush finds the soft spot of the hardwood there for Washington. Up to five kills for her. Junior out of Cambo River, Canada, north of the border. Made the transition, she's played mostly left side hitter as of late, transitioning from the opposite spot. She's got five kills. Second chance opportunity here for Penn State. Merzik will try to cash in on it. She paints the line. Jess Merzik tucks it in for her 11th kill. Serving four here, you get a look at that replay 
down the line as the team captain, second team All-American, Jess Merzik on her senior day here at Penn State. This is Bush, but a lot behind that one. Grimes is able to dig it nicely. Now Hannah, off the block, off the net tape. Bush one more time. Grimes is there, got a body on it. Falduda will bump it over to Merzik. Disrupted by the block there on the swing by Hunt. Second chance for Washington, and Bush gets it down. Amani Bush coming alive here for the Huskies in set four. Amani Bush been one of those stellar players for Washington. She was a starter, now has five kills on the day, six kills, excuse me, 18 total attacks as well. This is where we've seen Bush come into play here. She's been the crucial cog of this Washington offense with a lot of Husky players dealing with some injuries, different points throughout the season. That is missed out of bounds on the overpass attempt from Julia Hunt. We're tied at five. Neither team able to really string anything together here. We're just going back and forth and back and forth. And Quinn Benger, see what she can dial up here from behind the service line. Washington, you know, wants to get her off of it as quickly as possible. Easy for Bays to play. Hunt on the slide, and Julia Hunt, one and done for Washington. First ball kill for her. And the Huskies back out in front briefly. She'll go back to serve now for this Washington team. Something we haven't mentioned yet today, and we've seen a little bit of full display with their six aces in this game. We mentioned Penn State's improvement in the serving category. Well, Washington has stepped it up as well, and they're tied for second the Big Ten in service aces entering today, third in service aces per set. So one of the best in that category, but it's a first ball kill for Taylor Trammell out of the middle, and Trammell has been a little quiet today offensively, but that's kill number four for her on swing number 10 for one of the nation's leaders in hitting percentage. Stark could and quite get the bounce off the net tape. Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. The seesaw and the pendulum swing. <laughs> Here from Rec Hall, getting dizzy. Yeah, I've been a little quiet, Casey, but that's because I'm trying to calculate how many times he's been <laughs> tied. <laughs> We're seeing by Anna in the back row. This is Juravicious from the left side. Caroline Juravicious. Unfamiliar place, but pretty familiar result for her. Kill number eight on the afternoon, and Jara Vicious, too far off of career high. That was 11, she had that earlier this year in that big win against Louisville. And there's a service ace for Cam Hanna. She's been knocking on the door one all afternoon long, and finally delivers for the Nittany Lions. It's their sixth ace as a team. And finally, back-to-back -back points for one side or another. Nittany Lions go from down one to up one. That time it's received by Barton. Fletcher missed it out. So all of a sudden, Penn State on a 3-0 run here. You can feel finally one side trying to grab some momentum here. And it's the Nittany Lions. Yeah, so the stats are in. It's been 18 <laughs> times that Penn State and Washington have been tied. I actually thought it would have been more. 18, yeah, you're right, 18 times in this match that they have been knotted up. That does tell you on, on here, by the way. You, you, didn't have to, you didn't have to count it by hand, but, but I appreciate the effort from our color commentator, Allie Witzkowski. Doing the math herself. Taylor Trammell back through the middle. Can she start to get her offense going here for Penn State? That'll be the question so far. Looks like she's doing so. As Penn State running their middles a little more here in this fourth set. I think I, I left Allie speechless after that. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have a leaf challenge here. As I believe that Leslie Gabriel is challenging for a net touch. So we'll take a look at that here. On the kill by Trammell. This would be the angle I think that would show us for Taylor Trammell as she attacks it. And 
Oh, yeah, over the, uh, over the center line. I believe you're right. That might be what they're looking at more than the net for Trammell. Yeah, I believe she, it doesn't look like she came close to the net, but her foot does look like it crosses that center line, which may be more of what they're challenging, though we're not quite sure. We'll see and get a look, and uh, obviously the referees look at the same thing that we are for Taylor Trammell. So if it stands, it's a two-point Penn State lead. Obviously, if it's overturned, we'd be tied at nine, and we would add another one to that stat that Allie has been hand-tallying. <laughs> I can't believe it's on here. <laughs> throughout this match. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> you learn something new every day. You do. More you know. <laughs> All right. Speaking of more you know, let's find out what the call is. So it was missed out of bounds. That is what they were looking at. Thought maybe they were looking at that at the net as well, but Trammell was unable to get it down in front of the end line. Maybe could have called either one there. Either way, it is a point for Washington off the reversal. So it'll go down as an attack. Error for Trammell. The word nodded at nine. Followed by another service error. This one out of bounds from Barton. <laughs> Jillian Grimes serving here for Penn State. The libero who leads this team in service aces this season. Trying to see if she can add another one here. Forces Bays to range over. Now Bush off the block. Imani Bush able to knock it down for the Huskies as her little explosion here in this four set continues for the player that wears number four for the Huskies. And now the 20th time that Penn State and Washington <laughs> has been tied. Ten all. Bays, who's been the tough server for Washington. Mendelssohn gets her off the line with the quick attack from the middle. And again, we haven't seen the middles get run a lot in this match. It's been a lot of Hannah, Mirzik, and Jerovicious. But now Mendelssohn with her fifth kill, Trammell with four. Izzy Stark also has four out of the middle for Penn State from the center spot. This is Falduda. Back set, Flesher through the block. So Kuhn Fletcher up to nine kills now for the Huskies as she continues her strong afternoon here in Rancaw. Working one-on-one -on -one against Jess Merzik. Got it off of her touch. 11 all. Good received by Grimes. This is Merzik to the left side. Now Bush, she's been the hot hand. She continues for Washington. Amani Bush going cross court for the Huskies. Coming alive for this Washington team. It's been Barton and Fletcher for a lot of this game offensively for the Huskies, but Amani Bush giving Washington the one point advantage. Now Mendelssohn on the slide and gonna call her, I believe, no, they're gonna call for contest. Like maybe it was Mendelssohn in the net. Either way, it's a point for Penn State. Contacts on Washington. So 12 serving 12. With Mercy. Bush off the top of the block, keeps it going. She got the touch off of Izzy Stark. And I'll clear up that last play. They were they were holding up four, and it's easy to sometimes misinterpret that as, as four touches. That was an error on Bush. She was in the net. That's why it was a kill for Mendelssohn. That's how we got the 12-12. Bush answers, atones for her mistake on the other side. 13-12 in favor of Washington. Now here's Cam Hanna from the left side, pushing it past. Nice job to keep it off by Howry. But Izzy Stark says, all right, I'll take care of it myself. She hit in high school. She's used to attacking the volleyball. And she does so there. That ball just looked like it was teed up for Izzy Tark. She saw it, she jumped up and just hit that back line where no one was standing. It's a front row hitter, back row setter in high school. So she's got that true dynamic aspect of her game as an offensively minded setter. Quinn Menger. And Barton. Who had been a little quiet in this fourth set, overshadowed a bit by Amani Bush's explosion. 
But Barton is going to be the first Husky to get to double digits in terms of kills. She quickly gets Quinn Menger off the service line. And Washington back up by one in a set that neither side can really seem to take a decisive advantage on. Stark will dump it. Nobody there for the Huskies. Now up to six kills is Izzy Stark on the afternoon in addition to her 38 assists and eight digs. She keeps up at the pace that she's been going on here in set four. She'd be looking to triple double here before too long. But Barton, answer hard ricochet off of Grimes, comes back to the Washington side. Barton took a little off that one. Mersick's got a lunge to keep it alive. Three Washington players go down, and eventually so does the volleyball as they were all scrambling off of Taylor Trammell's swing, and Penn State will finally get us to the media timeout. 15-14, about as tight as you can ask for. Here from Rec Hall, could go either way. Washington's got to have the fourth set to stay alive. Penn State trying to close them out. They're up by one. Don't go anywhere. You're watching this presentation of Big Ten Volleyball on Big Ten Plus. Three straight ranked matchups to end the season for the Huskies in their first year of the Big Ten. Strong attack from the middle from Haney. Now here's Hannah, sent back by Haney. Along with Molly Wilson, they were over there for Washington to get the side out of the media timeout for the Huskies. It's Haney's third block and the first for Wilson that she's contributed on this afternoon. 15 off, serve out of bounds from Wilson who Leads this Husky team in service aces, but comes up with the error there, trying to tuck it inside the end line. Now Cam Hanna, who had a service acer last trip to the line. Trying to add another one. Tight set, pin to pin. Fletcher missed it out of bounds as she was trying to carve it past the block. That was closing toward the antenna. There was some daylight there, but Fletcher couldn't quite find it in time. Fletcher's been doing that all match long, trying to dump it just on the corner, just on the side of the court, and it's been successful, just not in that case. Hannah serves the right back in Barton. Barton able to tip it through as it ricochets off a couple Nittany Lion players in Kirsten Barton. Her return to the starting lineup, we mentioned earlier, missed five matches with an ankle injury before getting back in in the second set against Ohio State and playing there. A sophomore from Chandler, Arizona, now back in the starting lineup and back to regularly scheduled programming for the Huskies offense. And there's a block! Big one for Washington! Sealing Merzik, it's Haney and Fletcher who deliver it. Take another look at that one. It's Washington's 10th block of the match. They lead with Penn State only having seven. It's been the physicality from the Huskies. Has come up large here. Merzik had to tip that one through. Joust to the net. Jess will win it for Penn State. Work it against Elise Haney. Give it to Jess Merzik. Now you got Jillian Grimes back behind the line for the Nittany Lions. Another tough receive, but Washington does keep it up. Bates will get a swing off. Dug by Nathan, and Mendelssohn, was she in the net? Or actually Washington, I believe, was in the net instead. That's what they call it. Signal it on Barton. And she was trying to defend against Maggie Mendelssohn. It's a point for Penn State. They're up by two. Grimes has been serving Bays every opportunity. Libero v. Libero, she's had an answer. Bush misses that one, cross court out of bounds. And this is the little run that Penn State, and really both sides have been looking for all set long. The Nittany Lions have it now, they're up by three, and they're the first to 20. Washington calls a time. So glad to bring it to you here on this Sunday afternoon from Rec Hall. Third to last match of the regular season for Penn State as the final week looms. Grimes will set Merzik. 
kept alive by Wilson. Now Bush through the block. Another strong swing, Amani Bush. Trying her hardest to keep Washington alive here. She has had a big fourth set for the Dogs. We've talked about Cameron Hanna and Jess Merzik on the Penn State side having just so much strength on their hits. But on the other side, Amani Bush has all the power on her end when she gets a good hit as well. This is Bays on the serve, and she's been one of the potent ones for Washington. Penn State would like to quickly get her off the line if they can. Bush sent back by Penn State. The Nittany Lions do just that, courtesy of Mendelssohn and Jurevicius on the double block. Get a look at that roof by the Nittany Lions. Block number eight on the day for Penn State. At a crucial moment in this match. Alduda on the serve. Fletcher off the top of the block. Answers for the Huskies. Point for Washington as Fletcher now to 10 kills for this Husky team. But Washington has got to find a way to string some together here. That has been what they haven't been able to do just yet. Merzik tips it over. Coming back, going to be a joust. It's won by Izzy Stark. Stark and Bush as Amani was trying to get into position, but Stark was right there, read it all the way. Got to the ball first, powered it down. Nittany Lions up by three, needing three, in search of their 27th win of the season, and Mercik, with a little help from the net, is gonna get a service ace for Penn State. In a crucial moment, crucial swing, the Nittany Lions now have their biggest lead of set four, and they're two points away from winning the match. Could we have the finish upcoming? Washington has called their final timeout. They will need a big response here, and Maybe some magic from the Huskies. We'll see what happens on the other side of the Close out opportunity here, two points away from taking the victory of the match. As they lead it two to one, Washington has fought hard here throughout the course of this contest. This is a team that, honestly, a lot of points this season has looked like they're more than worthy of being in the NCAA tournament. They've got a tough stretch here to end their season, but see if their performance today and their performances these final two matches of the season are good enough to get them in in their first season in the Big Ten. Entered the week at 33rd in the RPI, so there's an opportunity for sure. But Penn State try to take care of business here on their senior day. Washington must have a side out here, but they're not going to get it. Cameron Hanna will set up match point for Penn State. Jess Merzik is just such a powerful server. To have her here for the first set point, or match point, excuse me, of the day is just incredible, especially on senior night for Penn State. Nittany Lions have five. It's a tough serve for Merzik, but Washington will play it. Hunt on the slide, missed it out of bounds. And Penn State will pick up the victory on their senior day, or will they? Leslie Gabriel pulls the green card and hold the phone. We'll have a challenge first. And that was a pretty quick one from head coach Leslie Gabriel. Now, obviously, at this point, if you think there's any question, you can't take it with you, so you, you might as well <laughs> I was use just going to say, if there's anything sort of in question, it's time to use it. Find so out together. I don't see a touch at the net. At least from that first angle, we'll maybe try to slow it down a little bit, give you a better look as she attacked on the slide. Off the back set, I really don't think it gets Hannah. I don't think so either. Um, we'll see again from that angle. Doesn't land in bounds either, so unless they're seeing something we're not, I have a pretty good feeling this could stand as a victory for Penn State. But we'll see. Continuing to get replays of it, thanks to our excellent Big Ten Plus production crew. It, it does not hit Hannah at the net. I'm pretty confident in saying that. And that's really the only question mark it feels like, although we're still taking a look at it. So I you don't get a clear view of that end line. I, I certainly didn't think watching live that it was tucked in play, but could be wrong. We don't get an excellent view of it there. I guess
guess that's really the only thing left to question here. I wonder if they're questioning if she touched over that middle line. That was the only thing we haven't <laughs> talked about, but Penn State is certainly celebrating like they got the win. <laughs> Caroline Jarevicius can do the worm. We found that out over there. <laughs> <laughs> you see on Big Ten Plus. And call stands. Penn State wins their senior day. Three to one over the Washington Huskies. It was a resilient effort from this Nittany Lion team after dropping the first set and coming back. Just opens things up on the inside to get her. Players establishing new roles, but I feel like they're settling in right now. After five games, they have started to settle into a rhythm. Iowa still getting used to life post Caitlin Clark, Kate Martin, Gabby Marshall, and now they have a new point guard in charge. to her teammates. She continues to get into more of a rhythm with her teammates because she's simply getting more reps and it's paid off in a match. Saturday, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to